to the pros after winning a, a gold. Really, I think he brings a lot to the to the pro game that Sugar Ray Leonard did. I think he'll move very quickly through the professional ranks and get a title shot a lot quicker than anybody would have imagined. He's very talented and he's so aware and uh, uh, he's so glib and poised for a young man. He had an easy fight in his pro debut November 23rd. He takes on the 28-year-old Clifford Hicks, a southpaw from Charlotte, North Carolina tonight. It shouldn't be all that tough for him. No, even though Hicks might go off for a little more than Lamar Williams did in the first fight, but we'll see some skills from De La Hoya. Also on the card is a man who is looking to get in line for a title shot, and that is Scotty Olsen. Scotty Olsen is number two in the world in the flyweight division, and he is knocking on the door for a title shot. And he has the USBA title, which he'll be defending. Uh, tonight, and Scotty Olsen is, I think, uh, just one fight, one good fight away from a world championship match, and I think he'll win a world title. I'm very impressed with Scotty. He's taking on Jose Luis Zepeda, who has never fought outside of Mexico. Scotty Olsen is getting set for our opening bout, and with him right now in the locker room is Kevin McCabe. Let's go to Kevin. Well, gentlemen, I'm right outside the locker room right now, and I've got the Bulldog with me. He appears raring and ready to go. Your mindset now as you make your way to the ring. Very focused, very strong, ready to fight. And this one's for everybody out in Canada. Expecting a war, a real battle out there tonight? Real tough one. This guy Zapata's a tough guy, but I'm tough and he hasn't fought me. And uh, I'm looking for, for a really tough one tonight. You're, you're the belt on the line. You know, it's a, a big fight for you. I have to defend the title and there's no way he'll take that belt home. That's, uh, that's my belt and I'll keep that until I win the world championship. All right, we've got the belt here. Let's show it. Let's show what we've got here. What's on the line tonight? Hal Strauss turn right set up the USBA belt. And the Bulldog is making his way to the ring right now. Let's throw it back to Sam and Al. Thanks, Kevin. And a big crowd here at the America West Arena getting set for the entrance of Jose Luis Zepeda and USBA flyweight champion Scotty Olson. Scotty Olson, there is Jose Luis Zepeda. This is a man who knocks out a lot of people and gets knocked out a lot and trained by uh, one of the ring legends, Lupe Pintar. And the fact that he has that kind of a style should make for a terrific fight because Scotty Olsen doesn't back up at all, and neither does Cepeda. And so given that, uh, this battle for the USBA title should be a good one. Scotty Olsen has had some injury problems. Uh, he hurt his hand in a recent bout, which we did in July, but he's bouncing back. Uh, he said they've been working on a lot of technique and he is uh, getting set hopefully for a title shot as you look at his opponent tonight Jose Luis Cepeda Scotty Olsen is ranked number two in the world yeah Scotty Olsen is, is a young man who has lots of power he is uh, you see him getting ready to come in the ring with Mastros in the background and as we take a look at some of the action of Scotty Olsen you'll see that uh, the word bulldog was uh, aptly coined for him showing lots of power here uh, you and I have done a number of his fights, and uh, the thing he does is he just gives you relentless pressure, Sam. A guy at 112 pounds, he really hits hard. He's got the big left hook, and we've seen him work the body well also. Yeah, here, using the, the headshots to uh, down his opponent, but um, in this case, you'll see uh, about that you and I did together up in Reno, the body work of Olsen, very, very impressive. He just took apart Jose Luis Velarde in this fight. That left hook to the body, boy, that just caved in Velarde in that fight. And it's this kind of relentless pressure that most of his opponents have a hard time dealing with. You may hurt Olsen, but you're not going to keep him off. I think that's the big question about Scotty Olsen. He gets hit a lot, but he takes a good punch. Yeah, and, and always seems to come back no matter if he's hurt or not. Scotty Olsen undefeated, 23-0, 18 knockouts. Getting set to defend his USBA flyweight championship. He is ranked number two in the world by the IBF, number two in the world by the WBA. Okay, the fog machine is working. And ready to come through the fog and into the light is the Bulldog. Man who was born in Edmonton. And now makes his home in Las Vegas. Well, they know about show business and fog in Las Vegas, so Scotty is right at home. 
six-time Canadian Olympian. He was beaten by Michael Carbajal in the Olympics in Seoul, Korea in 1988. He badly wants a rematch with Carbajal. He says he roots for Michael Carbajal to keep on winning yes. because he wants a big money fight with Michael Carbajal down the road. And ironically, Scotty Olsen is popular here in Phoenix. Though you know who they'll be rooting for if he fights Olsen. Or if he fights Carbajal, yeah, That's I mean. right. Well, the first bout in our duel in the desert, Scotty Olsen defending his USBA Flyweight Championship against Jose Luis Cepeda. Here is the tail of the tape. And as you look at it, you see the, the reach a little bit. Uh, Scotty Olsen used to facing men that are taller and have bigger reach. I don't think that'll be significant in the age. Pretty much the same. USBA rules are in effect tonight. Ten-point must system, no three knockdown rule. No standing eight count, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And only the referee can stop the fight. We are set for the introductions to this USBA title bout. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, where tonight, here at the America West Arena, the home of the Phoenix Suns, Pop Rank Incorporated, in association with Romeo Productions, and of course, in association with the undisputed, undefeated King of Beer, Budweiser, present championship boxing for your entertainment. All these bouts tonight are sanctioned by the Arizona State Athletic Commission. This bout is also sanctioned by the United States Boxing Association, supervisor at ringside, Mike Cusimano. The scoring will be done by three judges on a 10-point must system. They are Lucien Jobert, Mike Munoz, and Joe Garcia. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, referee from Tucson, Arizona, Mr. Bobby Ferreira. And now, ladies and gentlemen, man your battle stations, 12 rounds of boxing for the USBA Flyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with white letters, weighing 110 and one half pounds. He's from Zacamulpa, Mexico, and brings a professional record of 22 victories, 19 by KO, against 11 defeats and two draws. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the challenger, Jose Luis Gringo Zepe. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks with maple leaf trim. He weighs an even 112 pounds. Originally from Edmonton, Canada, now living and fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He's undefeated as a professional with a record of 23 and 0, 18 KOs. Ranked number two in the world by the IBF, the WBA, and the WBO. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the USBA flyweight champion, Scotty. Bulldog Olsen! Hey, I already gave you guys instructions in the dressing room. It's time to fight now. Go back to your corners and wait for the bell. Scheduled for 12. Undefeated Scotty Olsen taking on Jose Luis Zepeda, who is fighting outside of Mexico for the first time. Zepeda won his first 10 fights of his pro career, nine by knockout. But right now, over the last, he went through three years from 1988 through 1990, where he was 3-8-1 and one was stopped six times, but he's 4-0-1 oh, over the last two years. That's Jose Luis Zepeda. Bobby Ferreira is the referee. Everyone wants to get off to a quick start against Scotty Olsen. It's, uh, it's important because you've got to get while the getting's good, and early is when you can, you can do something, Tony. Olsen with power in both hands. There's the jab of Olsen. He is really a different boxer when he jabs him. He's much more effective. So Peta kind of pawing with his jab. Heads banged together a little bit. Time a good jab by Zepeda. Get the hand off the back of the head. Get the hand off the back of the head. Sharp jab by Olsen. The 
They've been working on Olsen's defense. Trying to pick off some of the shots. He tends to get hit a lot. Thus far early in the fight, I think he has picked off a few shots. Oh, got oh, that left hand. Got through a good right hand by Olsen. That rocks Cepeda. He's on unsteady legs. And I think when you hurt Olsen, as Cepeda did with the left hook, you run the risk of him really coming at you. And that's what Olsen did. Scott looks a little slow, actually, to me tonight in terms of his uh, not quite as quick as he's been in, in recent fights. Could just be a little slow getting off the mark. Heads have banged together two or three times already in this first round. They want Olsen, of course, as you said, to slip punches more. And, uh, and Richie Sandoval, his trainer, has done a good job working with him. Olsen throwing that right hand a lot in this first round. Good right hand by Zapata. Nice combinations by Zapata. Zapata has knocked out 19 in his 22 wins, but he's been stopped eight times in his 11 losses. Also not going to the body yet, but starting there to a little bit. Good left hand by Scotty Olsen. And a solid right by Olsen lands. Final seconds of the first round. And a sharp jab. Olsen starting to land some big punches here as we come to the end of round one. Pretty good round. Scotty Olsen, uh, you'll, you'll hear Sandoval get in there and talk to him. They, they like his offense, but probably not his defense. Work a lot of feints in the first, work, first couple of rounds. A lot of feints, bend your body, bending your body. The guy Richie Sandoval, his trainer. And then he's trying to throw some... Well, Scotty Olsen in the last round with the overhand right uh, getting there, and uh, that, was, that was his big weapon. Landed that more often than the hook. From another angle, you get to see it. And uh, also working behind that shot as well with more combinations. Zepeda landed some good flurries, I thought, in the first round now, but the bigger punches were land by, landed by Olsen. Yeah, Scotty Olsen landed punches with, with a lot more power in that round, but as you said, Zepeda was able to put some punches together. Out for round two. Scotty Olsen, who won the USBA title January 5th, of this year in Reno when he stopped Pedro Feliciano in the ninth round. Ranked number two in the world. Round one, Cepeda throwing more punches, the better percentage to Scotty Olsen. And I think Cepeda has gotten Olsen's attention even with his power of shots. Oh, Olsen loaded up with a right hand that landed. After Zepeda had landed a, a flurry of about five punches. Well, this is as, uh, as good as the overhand right of Olsen's been in a long time. He's operated on the left hook a lot in recent fights. There is blood coming from the nose of Scotty Olsen. And the heads continue to bang together as both fighters lean in. Bulldog, Scotty Olsen, pushes Zepeda back. Olsen's pet bulldog is Otis, who's back home in Edmonton with Olsen's mom. In this spot going to Edmonton, we understand, so we know a lot of Scotty's fans are watching. Olsen trying to work the body, Zepeda trying to tie him up. on the inside by Olsen. There's a cut now, I think, on uh, Zepeda's eye, too. It, it may have been from a butt. Good combination by Olsen oh. with a big left hand, but Zepeda hanging, trying to hang right in there with Olsen. Elbows are being thrown in there. The heads continue to bang in there. 
I'd love to see how bad that cut around the left eye of Zepeda ends up being. I think it may have happened, it may have been opened by the one of many butts, accidental butts. Good combination again by Olsen. This time Zepeda holds on. That right hand got to him pretty well. Good left hand by Olsen, who was really relying on his power here. It's almost as if he's forgotten about the jab, Al, and yeah. decided to go punch for punch, toe to toe. Well, he's better off when he remembers his jab. Jose Luis Cepeda wants his corner to check out the eye. As they work on it, doctor took a look. Appears everything is okay. They've got some work to do there. We take a look at uh, Scotty Olsen um, on the inside, ripping shots against Cepeda, throwing combinations there. Boy, two good good shots, the right and the left, but Cepeda not going backwards. And from, from a different angle, Sam, you can see that when, when he throws combinations on the inside, he's very effective. That short left hook, a powerful punch. Zepeda had some moments here. Yeah, he really did, and uh, he too was effective when throwing combinations. This is round three, scheduled for 12 for the USBA Flyweight Championship. 112 pounds, Scotty Olsen, who holds the title, defending against Jose Luis Zepeda of Mexico. And Olsen just planting his feet wide apart and banging away. How'd you score the first two rounds? Well, I, I would have it uh, one and one, but the last round, Zepeda outlanded Olsen 43 to 28, I believe that is. Olsen continues yeah. with the good percentage. I gave Olsen both rounds, Al, yeah. because I just like the way he threw the big bombs in the first round. Yeah, um, he, did, he did land up harder punches, that's for sure. Again, the heads banging together, rubbing together. Now Olsen try to use a couple of jabs. Zepeda so cautioned about holding behind the head. Good right hand by Olsen. It seems like he's determined to land the big bomb. Now some body shots and quick left hand upstairs. Good double left hook to the body and the head. That's a big weapon for him. He hasn't used it much. And Zepeda keeps rubbing at the left eye. It seems to be okay. It's almost as if he knows it's there and he's thinking about it. There are two weapons in this match. I think Scotty also wants to use more of the jab and the left hook to the body. Olsen bangs away. Zepeda trying to hold his ground, but it's tough to do against Scotty Olsen. The right hand got in there. Good left to the body by Olsen. It's definitely an action fight, and Cepeda, we felt he would come in here and try and take this USBA title from Olsen, despite the fact that Olsen was a favorite, boy, he has tried. Big left hook to the body that hurt Cepeda, he's in trouble, he wobbled a good right leg, followed by a left hook, and Cepeda's holding on. It started with a real big left hook to the body. And that cut is opened up over the left eye of Jose Luis Cepeda. I don't know what exactly Zepeda's game plan was, Sal, but uh, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Scotty Olsen is not the best thing to do. That is going to be a tough way to go because of Olsen's power and role. Here, uh, we'll listen and we'll see what the speech of Sable was about. Well. Well. It's a competitive match because the guy's not bending over for you. He's working the fight. Mm -hmm. But the, exactly, those little shots, the body, little 
shots are working against him. He's, yeah. he's feeling them every time he shoots. You gotta continue him, Scotty. Really hurting him to the level though. Give me some water. Here is uh, Scotty Olsen on the inside in the last round, landing those two good shots. Working on the inside very well against Cepeda. Shot and uh, rocking him momentarily from another angle. There's left hook to the body that we talked about. Very important weapon for Scotty Olsen. Ooh, boy, he really ripped it, didn't he? And also not only landing punches, but roughing up Cepeda on the inside. Yeah, and that's what he wants to do. That's a key part of his strategy. Round four, scheduled for 12. Now it seems as if Olsen has slowed down his pace a little bit. He's not, uh, he's not rushing himself. Now he's, look, again, he's looking for shots, but also it's because Zepeda has slowed down a little. And that cut has opened up again, and the blood's beginning to stream down the face of Jose Luis Zepeda. Keeps wiping them at the eye. Looks as if Cepeda wants to throw a couple of shots and then tie up Scotty Olsen on the inside. Whenever possible. Scotty Olsen's second defense of his USBA title. His first was February 28th when he stopped Lewis Curtis in the fifth round. So two other fights since then. Quick left hook by Olsen. The uppercut could be a very big weapon for Scotty, too. He hasn't thrown as much as I would have expected. But uh, Cepeda leaning in for that punch. Well, a few times, Scotty Olsen is backed up. Olsen starting to open up a little bit. Good work by Cepeda. It almost seems as if Olsen was waiting for him to do that. Yeah, Scotty sometimes likes to let his man get off so he can counter. And uh, uh, now you've, you've seen how this fight now by the fourth round, Olsen taking control a little bit more. First two rounds usually tough for Scotty. Kind of going according to plan, Al, you think? To some degree, Zepeda getting off pretty quick and then also kind of taking control. But Zepeda has performed extremely well. Jose Luis Zepeda, who has gone 10 rounds eight times in his career. And they continue to work on the cut over the left eye. Which opened up in the second round. I gave Zepeda that last round. How about you, Al? I thought he performed very well. He could have won that one, yeah. He's, uh, he's throwing lots of, uh, a lot of punches. And he's, his accuracy isn't that bad either, so... You know, he's not landing big shots. Scotty Olsen is landing the harder punches, but uh, if you land enough, you should win. Scotty Olsen hurt his right hand in the fight against Jose Luis Velarde in July in Reno. But uh, no signs of any problems thus far with his hands. He's been winging with both hands, landing some big shots.
the numbers. Olsen's percentage continues to rise. Zepeda continues to throw more punches. And you can see Scotty taking a slight edge now. Punches landed after a slow start in the first couple of rounds. Walk right into the left shoulder of Zepeda. And there's Olsen going for the body. Something that I think would be very effective for him if yeah. he did it more. I think they really want him to do that, but uh, he's, not, uh, he's just not responding too well. Continue to bang together. Both well, fighters missing that time in the last exchange. The combination inside by Olsen. Olsen is so tough and so dogged. He just ten, has, wears you down. And I, I have to believe that by the ninth, tenth round, I'll be surprised if Cepeda will be able to withstand the onslaught. Yeah, that, and that, if he doesn't get you out early, which he does against the lesser opponents, uh, and, and Scotty Olsen ends up wearing you out, as you said, for accumulation of punches. He's really not a one-punch knockout artist, despite the fact he's got power. That's what he did against Jose Velarde. Yes. In that fight in Reno. And we can see the number of punches Cepeda's showing is going down. has been halted here and the referee is calling the doctor to look at the cut over the left eye and the doctor is allowing it to continue they've got a pretty good job in their cut yeah this is round five scheduled for 12 for the USPA Flyweight championship, 112 pounds. Scotty Olsen in the red. And after the hard exchange, he ties up and is holding on. Olsen loading up with that right hand. And Zepeda coming right back at him. And he throws Zepeda down. No knockdown. There's the blood streaming down the face of Jose Luis Cepeda. And uh, Chuck Bodak, who is a fine cut man, working on the cut in the corner of uh, Cepeda. There you look at the eye, and uh, after the referee looked at that eye, Zepeda came out and whacked Scotty Olsen pretty good. Hit him with a good left hook and a right hand there. Another right to the temple that may have stunned both Olsen momentarily. And there goes Olsen right up with the head, right yeah. into the face of Zepeda. Some excess Vaseline. And there is Zepeda throwing a shoulder into Olsen and Olsen throwing a shoulder into Zepeda. And the referee warns both fighters. And a good move by referee Bobby Ferrara. It's been real rough in there from the start. There's been a lot of butting. There's been a lot of elbows thrown. And I think Zepeda is still upset by being thrown to the canvas by Olsen at the end of round five. There's a jabs, and they see Scotty Olsen with the edge and jabs landed there. And Olsen wincing from a low blow, and a warning to Zepeda. This one is becoming a uh, clinic on illegal fighting, huh? <laughs> a bit of a street brawl. 
if you're going to fight that fight, you're asking for trouble against Scotty Olsen. Yeah, that's... He likes it rough and tough. And he'll give, he'll give it back to you, too. Hold it. Hold it. It's a bad cut over the left eye of Jose Luis Cepeda. Keeps wiping at it. Keeps banging away, though, with courage. And Olsen planting himself and banging with both hands. Oh, again, the head's banging hard. Scotty Olsen, who hopes to have a title fight early next year. And this, of course, a very important stepping stone for him. It's a wonder that Olsen hasn't been cut with all the head banging that's been going on. A lot of clashes of heads and Cepeda getting in a few free shots when the referees the back his turn. Cepeda's done a lot of holding behind the head and hitting. Yeah. Crowd reacting to all the rough stuff going on. Olsen lands a right hand. Cepeda trying to bang away and keep Olsen on the ropes. You know, if Scotty Olsen used his jab to set up these punches, he would be much more effective. Olsen is bleeding from the mouth. Earlier, he was bleeding from the nose. And some nasty stares across the ring at each other. It's getting rugged out there, and I think... Um, some of the tactics which have been less than uh, less than legal adding to that you know it too you gotta bend your body you can't breathe deep straight up breathe deep he's trying to head punch you now he's trying he thinks he's gonna ring your belly when he goes like that bend down and come out punching oh. okay don't oh. wrestle oh. with him much older scotty come now, on now tell that guy to stop putting his head down his head buddy you see the the, the head's clanging on the inside there uh, smashing together and uh, that's going to create a lot of problems and they they were yelling from Olsen's corner tell that guy to, to stop holding and hitting it's a good right hand by Scotty Olsen here's where they both gave each other some shoulder shots round seven scheduled for 12 how do you have a score Al what do you think I would <laughs> give Scotty a I would give Scotty also a slight edge in this match. I've got to give you my scorecard here. Come I'm telling you, I didn't score every round. <laughs> oh, was that Good right hand by Olsen. We, 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 we always do That's that. That's too easy to do. That gives us reason to disagree with the judges and with each other sometimes. <laughs> That's true. Honey, who do you have, man? I have Olsen ahead by two points. All right, I, would, I would give him a head tie by a point or two. Blood still coming from the nose of Scotty Olsen. Cepeda has proven to be very, very tough. He's withstood a lot of the rough stuff and hung in there to bang away with Olsen. And he has backed him up a few times. Well, that cut looks nasty. The work is holding up, the corner work. Of uh, Zepeda is holding up. And Chuck Bodex done a very nice job in the corner of Zepeda. And Scotty Olsen um, really, though, has, has pushed, pushed the pace the last three or four rounds. Zepeda has landed some good shots. He's not been as active as he was in the beginning rounds. Olsen going to the body a few times, and when he does, he lands effectively with that left hook. Okay. All right, I got it. I got it. Come on. Come on. Okay, I got it. Come on. Stop again. Come on. Back it up. Good left hook by Olsen. Come on. 
Couldn't tie up the left hand of Zepeda, though. Zepeda continues to wipe away the blood. Screaming down from the cut over the left eye. Good work to the body by Olsen. Seems to be the best move for Scotty Olsen. Now, a right, couple of shots and then get out before Cepeda can counter. Yeah, he really doesn't want to be that on the inside all the time with Cepeda. I agree with you, Sam. And I think from the outside, he can use his jab more effectively in that lead, that overhand right, which we haven't seen so much of in the last few rounds. Truck jab by Olsen. We've talked about it many times during Scotty's fights that we've telecast on ESPN and elsewhere. Um, the lack of the jab. When he uses it, he's just really effective. And a little extra activity after the bell. End of round seven. In the corner of Jose Luis Zepeda. Zepeda turned pro in 1984, had a good start to his career. At the end of the round, we had a little extracurricular activity. I didn't think uh, uh, Olsen hit at the bell, after the bell. Zepeda just... Holding that in the band slightly. If he had nailed uh, also with that one, we would have had a brawl in the in between rounds. Now was it a case of Zepeda pulling up or Scotty walking quickly away? Yeah, good, good question. <laughs> Round eight scheduled for 12 for the USBA Flyweight Championship. 112 pounds. Scotty Olsen, who is ranked number two in the world by the IBF and the WBA. Taking on Jose Luis Cepeda. There you see the uh, in round seven. You can see Olsen doing much better. Picking up the pace considerably. And as we mentioned earlier, the, the tendency for Olsen's opponents to wear down. And I think that's what is happening to Jose Luis Cepeda. There's no question about that. Scotty adding the uh, kind of a new uh, look to the, to the uh, beard and mustache, kind of the Mitch Miller look. <laughs> he alters it from time to time. He hasn't consulted with us, huh? It's... No, not in his grooming. Well, we'll have to talk to him. <laughs> I can't help him. <laughs> well, that I'm any big, be any big benefit either. A good right hand to the head of Cepeda. Olsen backing him up with three big punches. Cepeda's showing us a very good chin here. Oh, yeah. For a guy who's been stopped eight times, yeah. he has hung in there taking some big shots from Olsen. You just think that Olsen hits so hard, Al, that if he went to the body you know, with a sustained attack, he'd, he'd really take him apart. And he usually does, but sometimes he forgets. As in tonight's case. Fans reacting and responding. And reacting is to pay to walk right in, and rather than touch gloves, he threw punches. Well, Olsen reached out his hand to touch gloves, and every time Cepeda's done that, Olsen has touched gloves, but this time Cepeda whacked him. Oh, there go the shoulders again. It's a surprise that points haven't been taken away. There have been some yeah. real dirty tactics used by both fighters in this bout. I think because it's been spread so equally, the referees had a hard time knowing who to take it away from.
Jose Luis Cepeda. And again, they worked feverishly on that cut. And what a terrific job they've done. That cut was opened up in the second round. Chuck Bodak, a very good cut man. Showing why he is in demand. So here's Scotty Olsen uh, puts his hand out and gets hit with the right hand. <laughs> well, you know, you're not supposed to do that anyway. I mean, you shouldn't walk in and put your hand out to another fighter like that in any case. The old protect yourself at all. Yeah, some of them are going are gonna to take the opportunity to whack you. So and in this case, Cepeda did. We are live at the America West Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. Glad you're with us for the duel in the desert. And opening up, Scotty Olson in the red trunks. Jose Luis Cepeda from Mexico in the blue. This is round nine, scheduled for 12 for the USBA Flyweight Championship. And this has been the action for most of this fight. Toe to toe, winging away. See the numbers of punches thrown by these guys. A lot of punches is Scotty Olsen making. Come on, let's a go. Very good comeback hands here. Free. Come on, hands not free. A, not a comeback so much, but just really coming out in the last four or five rounds. And boy, that right hand shook Cepeda. Scotty Olsen has been ten rounds three times, never gone beyond. The right hand got in by Olsen. Get that hand off the head, Cepeda. Zepeda has been 10 rounds eight times. Get He's gone to the down, 11th Cepeda. round once. All right, I got it. Come on. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I got it. Come on. Come on, let's free. Right here, it doesn't seem as if Scotty Olsen is boxing now. It almost seems as if he's just slugging. Yeah, exactly. And I think he could take a step back All and right, use the jab it, and it, land those right hands from the outside. But he wants to, he's an inside fighter, but still, I think from the outside, he can get the job done just as well. Come on, let's go. Let go, Scotty. Come on. They may let be go. a little Come tired, too, both of them right now. Both of you. Come on, hands free. Let him go, Scotty. Seems as if the fight's gotten so nasty. That good right hand by Olsen. But Olsen just has it in his mind to, to try and punish Zepeda. Now Zepeda backs him up. Olsen lands off the ropes. Zepeda comes back with a good combination. Olsen seems shaking a little bit. Zepeda landing effectively. Olsen trying to fight him off. Olsen got rocked in one of these earlier combinations. Zepeda covering up pretty well on that last one. Oh, that's an obvious use of the shoulder. shoulder. Well, he's got to take points away for that pretty soon. Come on, hands free. Come on. Come on, hands free. All right, I got it. Stop punching. Stop punching. Zepeda with a free hand. Got a couple of shots in on the inside. Olsen lands a good right hand. Well, this one has more than lived up to its Hold bill. It. Hold it. Here in this round, Scotty Olsen has found out Cepeda is one tough dude because he came back in this bout. Come on, Scott, let him go. Hold it. Final second. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Scotty also looks tired. That was a tough round. Give me some water and drink it. Squeeze some for fuck's sake. Okay. some water for me. round rocking Scotty Olsen it's in that sequence but he did rock him at one point and for the first time I ever I heard a little discord in the corner oh, of Scotty what? Olsen yeah. ever I've never heard that before between him and Richie Sandoval and Miguel Diaz 
So who knows? Ten. Swelling under the right eye of Scotty Olsen. This has been a rugged fight. All right, hold it. I got it. Come on. I got it. Let go. Blood Come trickling on. down the face of Jose Luis Zepeda. And Zepeda, what a courageous bout. All right, I got it. Come Oscar De La Hoya is coming up. The American Olympic champion. We'll take on Southpaw Clifford Hicks right, hold, 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 from hold, Charlotte, hold, hold, North Carolina. Shoulder. If you do that again, I'm going to cuss you. De La second pull bout. Zepeda doesn't speak any English, but uh, it's certainly believe he sensed the tone yeah. of Bobby Ferrara's voice. Understanding it was, uh, you do it one more time, my point's being taken away. This is important for uh, Scotty Olsen now. He's a little fatigued that he's been right, rocked by on, Cepeda. This is a, a very important round here for him. Cepeda's taking it to him. Keep him up, keep him up. Hold, hold, I think this is a tougher fight tough than fight. Scotty Olsen expected. Yeah, I do believe all of Scotty's had a lot of tough fights, but I don't think he thought Cepeda would be this difficult. Right, I got it, I got it, come on. Scotty Olsen is in a lot of wars, and this is the latest right, edition. Left to the body by Olsen. Sharp jab. That's been missing. I don't know why he doesn't use it more often. He was effective with a left hook to the body, a sharp jab that snaps a pain his head back. Hold it. And then he stopped. Fans reacting to the, the holding that was going on. All right, I got it. Stop punching. Big crowd here at oh, the American West Arena. Arena. It's really filled out. And we've got, I'm sure we got at least 12, 13,000 people here. see a boxing match in Arizona. Yeah, why not for Michael Carbajal, huh? Their, their uh, favorite son. Come on, hands free. Come on. Come on, let him go. He will defend his IBF light flyweight championship, 108 pounds. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Come on. Come on. As he takes on. on Robinson Quest of Panama. It'll be our main event. Final second. And a tired Scotty Olsen stumble to the canvas. The referee did not wipe off the gloves. Now he does. No knockdown. Hands reacting. Olsen staggered. Stumbled and fell to the canvas. I don't, I don't believe it was a knockdown. I don't know if it came for a punch. We'll take, we'll take a look and see what we think. Yes, right hand. Well, he pulled him. Pulled him down. I think Scotty might have been hurt by that right a little bit, but then he pulled him down. A right hand did land, but then it was the pulling action. And, of course, Cepeda's been guilty of that throughout the bout. Good right hand. Yeah, you know, you can make a case for a knockdown there. Could almost. And remember, this is not no man's land for Scotty Olsen. An 11-round fight for Jose Luis Cepeda. That was against Jose Velarde in September of 1991. Round 11, there have been no knockdowns in a rough, rugged, toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl. Scotty Olsen and Jose Luis Cepeda. We talked about also not using his jab enough. He's only averaging 13 per round. That's not good. And uh, Scotty Olsen's uh, title hopes in USBA championship could be on the line in the last few rounds. Let's take a look at some of the numbers in round 10. Look at Cepeda right, okay. out punching Scotty Olsen by a wide margin. I've got it a two-point edge for Olsen, but Cepeda winning the last two rounds. Yeah, it could be. It could be a very, very close fight. Olsen's got to dig down, but he's staggering here. And now that looked like a push. And it's ruled a push by referee Bobby Ferreira. Olsen loading up with punches. But by the time he throws, Zepeda has been able to slip away. No holding. Come on. Let him go, Scotty. Get that Once hand again, off the head. 
Well, we're off to quite a start for this evening, aren't we? I got it. <laughs> Moves right back in. Well, if Scotty's a bulldog, what do you make of Zepeda? I'll tell you what, he's, uh, what animal would be uh, the analogous to a bulldog? He's been tough. He's given tit for time. Sharp left hand to the body by Zepeda. He hasn't thrown many body shots. He came upstairs with a left. With it being such a rugged fight, so many punches thrown, it'll be interesting to see how the judges score this one. Yeah, it's not an easy one to score. Blood from the mouth of Scotty Olsen. Again, Olsen loading up, not working his way in at all, not using the jab. He's looking for the big bomb. Off balance and open, but Zepeda didn't capitalize. Then Zepeda got in a quick left hand uppercut right on the chin. Also reduced to just winging wild right hands out there. He's gotten in a couple of good lefts. Final seconds of the 11th round. Good round for that man, Zepeda. Got it a one-point fight, Alan Zepeda, the man coming on, winning the last three. You can make a strong case for that, and uh, considering the fact that he has come on so strong in recent rounds, it's not out of the question Zepeda can win this match. But do the man a job, right? There have been no knockdowns. Here is Zepeda in the last round with some of the action we talked about, landing the good uppercut, the overhand right. Scotty Olsen, very wild, as you pointed out. This is a, a much more wild than we've seen him in recent bouts. That cut opened up in the second round. In a very bad spot. You've got to give them a lot of credit for doing such a good job on it. Terrific work. Last round, let's go. Scotty Olsen, his number two world ranking on the line, his USBA championship on the line, and a world title shot. Maybe hanging in the balance here. Hold on, let's start this way. Come on. Olsen Let's threw go. only four jabs in the last round. He has forgotten his technique yeah. and has right, hold gotten hold down to just winging Stop punches, punches. hoping to land the big bomb. Twelfth and final round. Neither man has ever been this far Peter. in their pro careers. But left hook got in by Olsen. Come on, come on. Hands free, Scotty, come on. The fight could be hinging on this round. I got it. Very easily because, as you said, Zepeda has come on so strong in the last three or four. And he surprised me, Al. I really thought that Olsen would wear him down. Zepeda has hung tough. Yeah, it turned out just the opposite. It was Zepeda coming out in the later rounds. And again, his first fight outside of Mexico. Yeah, he's handled all this very well. Big crowd. Let him go, Scotty. Big fight. Has not in any way awed Jose Luis Cepeda. I guess he was not awed by the smoke that uh, Scotty Olsen came out of, huh? Watch the heads, watch the heads, come, come on. All right, let's go, I got it, I got it, come on, come on. All right, come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, come on. Someone has to dig down deep the rally to take the final right, no wrestling, no wrestling. seconds of this round. And perhaps the fight. Good left hook by Olsen. That staggered right, Zepeda a little bit. Stopped him in his tracks. Olsen threw no punches. He walked right in to Zepeda and threw no punches. That's because he's not jabbing his way in. Two jabs in this round for Scotty Olsen. Well, he's some holding, but he bangs to the body on the inside. Come 
both men will walk back to their corners. Not sure of how this one will come up. Olsen holding. Come on. Keep. Get those hands free. Get the hands free. Get the clean punches. Olsen immediately tying up the left hand of Zepeda. Come on. Final seconds of the fight. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Come on. And the judges will have a tough task, I believe. Olsen literally trying to hang on to a decision win. After 12 rugged, ruling, sometimes dirty rounds, yep. they embrace each other. What a battle. The crowd loves it. And the fans responding to Jose Luis Cepeda when he was lifted up by his handlers. They think Cepeda won. It was a very close fight. Make no mistake about that. I think it, I'm going to go with Olsen by, by one, one point. I might be tempted to lean toward Olsen, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw either. I'm going to call it 115, 114 and, and see what happens. And look at the numbers. Not that big an edge for Scotty Olsen. When you get down to 34 punches over a 12-round fight, it's almost insignificant. You, could, yeah, you almost think of it as a draw. Much tougher battle than Scotty Olsen anticipated, taking on a fighter who was 22 and 11. But again, over the last two years, Jose Luis Cepeda has gotten on track. He went through a three-year period in which he was 3-8-1 from 1988 through 1990 and was stopped six times. But since October 14th of 1990, he has been undefeated. Four wins and one draw. Scotty Olsen has never lost. There is Jose Luis Cepeda. Mexico! Mexico, he calls out. He feels he's a winner. Scotty Olsen, I don't think he knows. And right now, the three judges at ringside hold the answer. Swelling under the right eye. Number two world ranking in jeopardy. And perhaps a world title shot. And the anxious moments here for Scotty Olsen. A rugged battle. It seemed he had it under control in the middle rounds, was opening up a lead. And then Zepeda, starting in the ninth round, really came on. And Al and I felt that uh, the ninth through the eleventh went to Zepeda. He thought the twelfth was a toss-up. But Zepeda was, was determined. He went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It seemed for a while that it might have been the wrong strategy. But he took some big shots from Olsen early. Showed he could take those punches. And he matched Olsen punch for punch. They continue to examine the scorecards in the center of the ring. Michael Buffer checking them carefully with the USBA official and again, a little discussion. Michael Buffer is ready. Let's get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Judge Lucien Jobert scores the bell, 114, 114, he has it even. Michael Munoz scores the bell, 115 to 113. And Joe Garcia scores it, 117 to 111, for the winner by majority decision and new. For Scotty Olsen and Jose Luis Nepeda is the USBA flyweight champion. A stunning victory. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. You can for see the, the hurt. Champion. He fought his heart out. 
Adios, 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 give him a hand. The beta coming into the United States gets the acknowledgement from Scotty Olsen. What a battle. And the man from Mexico, first time ever fighting in the United States, first time he's ever fought out of Mexico, has come in and taken the USBA belt away from Scotty Olsen. First defeat for the number two ranked flyweight in the world. A courageous fight fought by Jose Luis Cepeda. And indeed, he has won it by majority decision. Al is in the ring right now with the new USBA champion. Al, take it away. Uh, we almost have Jose Luis Cepeda. We're close. Here we go. We're going to use Morris reasons here. He's going to uh, interpret. First of all, I uh, ask him, was he shocked that he got the decision? Was he surprised? Estás excitado porque ganaste? Perdón? ¿Qué tal? Que si estás excitado porque ganaste porque tú ganaste? Sí, porque esta fue una pelea muy dura. Pelea con un gran peleador, como es Cory Olson. Pues yo me preparé al 100%, le agradezco mucho Dice a mi Diego. manager, Dice Lucas Diego. Victoria, mi apoderado, Carlos Monroy, que me preparó en este triunfo. He says yes because he worked real hard. Scott Yelts was a hell of a fighter and he fought for the best he can against him. He was training, he saw his tapes and everything he was training against him. I was he hurt at all by Yelts? ¿Nunca te dolió? ¿Te pegó para que dolió? Sí, con la cabeza, pero de ahí, de ahí no, porque yo me preparé al 100%. Gracias a la preparación de Guadalupe Pintor. Y el apoderado, la motivación del apoderado Carlos Monroy, que los leo mucho a ellos. He said yes because he got hit a lot of headbutts, and that hurt him when he got hit, and he kept complaining until he was in a corner that was hurting. What is he? Would he like to uh, go after a world title now? Ya quieres ir por el campeonato mundial? Sí, yo creo que yo merezco una oportunidad de campeonato del mundo. Me voy a preparar bien y quiero agradecerles a todo el público de aquí de Estados Unidos, al referee que es un gran hombre de veras y y quiero agradecerles a todos ustedes porque se portaron bien lindos. Supieron reconocer la calidad de la gringa Cepeda. He says yes, uh, even Bob Arum told us that whoever wins this one is going to go for the world title against uh, Blanco or, or the one that won, uh, we don't know who. But then he says he likes to thank everybody, the referee, everybody for giving this opportunity. Bob Arum and everybody. Terrific performance by this young man. Yes, uh, one of the best. Uh, All right, congratulations. Yeah. Felicidades, sí, sí. Quiero mandarle un saludo. A mi esposa y para todos, Huizculuca y Zacamulpa, que, le, que quiero estar con ellos, con mi esposa y mis hijos. Muchas gracias. A happy Jose Luis Cepeda. Let's go back down the ringside to Sam Rose. Thanks, Al. Look at the emotion on the new USBA flyweight champion, Jose Luis Cepeda. He has certainly turned his career around after three tough years. The last two years. He has gotten it together, and a tremendous effort as he upsets Scotty Olson, the number two ranked flyweight in the world and the USBA title holder here in Phoenix, winning a majority decision and acknowledging the cheers of the crowd. Terrific effort by the man from Mexico, Jose Luis Cepeda. He hung tough, and as you heard him say to Al Bernstein, the, the headbutt certainly bothered him. Part of the rough stuff that went on throughout the fights, shoulders.